What's good out there guys, it's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a two player money glitch, alright, so the solo duplication glitch with the BMX bikes is fully patched now, alright, 100% patched, you cannot do that anymore, people were asking what part of it is patched, you can still get BMXs in the facility and in car spots, but they actually patched the duplication glitch, which is the whole reason for doing all of that anyways. Uh, when you press right D-pad over at the bed while you're on the BMX, it doesn't work anymore, apparently it just takes you right into the bed and you don't spawn outside. So the BMX dupe for the time being is 100% patched. So I wanted to bring something else that is simple and quick for you guys to take advantage of. This glitch has been around for a little while, but uh, it's actually really, really simple to do. All right. And you can get the hang of it and get dupes really, really quickly. So what you're going to need is you need one friend and you both need the same facility. All right. Make sure you have the same exact facility as your friend. Now, apart from that, your friend needs to have cars in his facility in all the spots, all right? So make sure your friend's facility has full spots with all the cars, or at least where your retro is going to be at, okay? Now, the duper needs at least one retro custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping in the facility, okay? So make sure you have at least one. If you have more than one, I recommend putting them all in your facility so that you can actually dupe, you know, multiple cars at once. So if you have seven retros, put seven retros in your facility, all right? And you can dupe seven really, really quick, all back to back, and your friend just has to do a few things, all right? You do not need custom plates for this glitch, so that's a really good plus. You get a fresh plate every single time. Both you and your friend need Avengers, that's important, and you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to actually save the dupe, all right? Make sure you have the personal vehicle storage and not the weapon and vehicle workshop. Also, Fagios or Elegies in any garage but the clubhouse, all right? So that's how that works right there. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually get started with the video. All right, so this is me inside of my own facility. And like I said before, what you want your friend to do is actually go inside their own facility and then they're gonna be entering their Avenger. So make sure you both have your Avengers inside of your facilities. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in as a CEO and get ready to invite my friend to an organization. And remember, I don't know if I said this before, but this glitch does work on Xbox One and PS4. All right, so it works on both consoles. Now, as you can see in the top right, that's the friend's point of view. So the friend right now is going inside of their own Avenger. All right, I've already invited my friend to my CEO and I'm gonna to proceed to actually hover over retire as a CEO and I'm actually gonna hover over the alert. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna back out of this menu and actually hover over the retire alert. What my friend's gonna do is position themselves, uh, her, him or herself right here at this spot, hover over the invite to the CEO in their phone. All right, this is the spot that you as the friend wanna stand in. This is where I have the best luck when it comes to that part. So you wanna accept the invite, spam X or A while you're going towards the door. And if you hear the click, when you see exit trailer in the top left and you hear a click, right when you get on that black screen, you tell your friend to retire. That's what I just did. I retired when my friend hit the black screen. If done correctly, your friend should spawn inside of your facility. And your friend will actually have the invite to facility option in their interaction menu. So you want your friend to just go ahead and position themselves over by the car that you guys are going to dupe. You can go ahead and go outside right now. Now we're going to go ahead and start getting set up. That's probably the hardest part of this glitch is just that. Once you've done that, it's smooth sailing from here. So I'm going to open up my phone. And like I said before, you want to go ahead and call up an LG RH8 or a Fagio from a different garage that's not the clubhouse. It can be from the facility as well. As you can see right here, I'm actually ordering up an RH8 from my own facility. Uh, you can't actually drive it out yourself, so you, ha you actually have to come out here and order them. I know some people want to save time like that, but I want to show you guys right here, this is the plate that we're going to be merging, all right? So that is the exact plate, so remember that right there. And we're going to go ahead and actually go in the facility. Leave the vehicle outside. That's the car or vehicle, whatever it is, Fagio, that we're going to be duping over. We're going to be getting that fresh plate. So you need a vehicle outside before you continue with the glitch. So make sure you put something outside that you're going to be overriding that you don't care about. So I'm going to go to the car that I want to dupe, which is this LG Retro Custom right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get in. Now, this is another part that can be tricky, but I'm telling you, I hit it basically first try every time now. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the car. And what my friend's going to do is my friend is going to go ahead and tap triangle or Y and then hold it. All right. So tap it and hold it right when the door is fully open. Boom. I pop out. They should keep holding wire triangle and slide right over into the driver's seat. You've given them access to your vehicle. Go ahead and hop in the passenger seat. And now they can drive you down over to the bottom part of the facility here. 
So that part can be tricky, but like I said, if you do exactly what I just said right there, you'll be good. And I'll show it again here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so you want your friend to position the car right over here by the railings so that you wedge the passenger side door and the driver's side door. Make sure you park it good so you're wedging both doors. Have the friend who's the driver teleport out. You go out and then back in, okay? So that's literally it, just like that. If you guys are teleporting, then you're good to go. So as you can see, I have a fart crew plate on here. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back out, go to the yellow circle, and I'm going to be pressing X and triangle at the same time while I'm hovering over exit facility on Xbox. That would be A and Y. Press them at the exact same time. All right, sometimes you'll see that little, you know, spec of you in the car. I don't see it anymore usually. I think it depends on what console I'm on, to be honest. But if you spawn outside with the car, you've done it correctly. That's the brand new plate. That was the plate that was on that RH8 that I showed you here a little while ago. So at this point, you need to save the vehicle because the game still thinks this is an RH8. So call out your MOC and wherever it spawns, you want to go ahead and actually drive this vehicle right into it. And it doesn't matter what's in there or not. I think right now I have an RH8 or an LG in there or uh, a retro in there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just hit transfer. And that's all you need to do to actually save the dupe. So just like that, I have made one dupe nice and simple. But I'm going to show you how to make this the most efficient glitch possible. OK, so at this point right here. The facility is still glitched out as long as your friend stays in there. So you can actually go ahead and park your MOC close to the facility so that you don't have to keep, you know, respawning in and actually driving really far to go get it. Because remember, you got to save your vehicles there. So right now, this is me with my, uh, you know, MOC, and I'm parking it close to the facility right here. Now, you can't park it too close because the blue circle will disappear. So this is a good spot for my facility here at the windmill. Uh, one so right there I still have my blue circle and I know I'm good to go at this point we can go ahead and start making more dupes and we have the MOC really close by but remember before you go back inside your facility you need to call out another vehicle so I can call out another RH8 or a Fagio but uh, yeah I recommend Fagios probably being the best one because of how quick you can spawn them and how easily uh, so I'm gonna sign in as an MC president call up a Fagio that I want to get rid of that was a modded one So I wanted to keep that one, but uh, yeah So this is a regular Fagio that I can go ahead and get rid of and this is the one that I'm gonna leave outside So like I said as an MC you can just keep calling these back to back and you can dupe your entire facility in You know really quick time. So I'm gonna leave this outside and I'm gonna go ahead and run back in the facility now remember I said you wanted your friend to have cars in their spots in their facility why because that will actually allow you to see your retros. But look what happens. Remember I had a retro here in this spot? That's the, my friend's RH8 from their facility that you see there now. That's what happens when you drive a car out like that or do something weird. Um, the car actually gets filled up, but if they have an empty spot, you won't even see your cars. So we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna hop in, my friend's gonna tap and then hold wire triangle. When the door opens up, I pop out and then they slide right over, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get in the passenger seat and they're going to do the same thing. Just drive me right down to the bottom floor of the facility and we're going to be wedging the car doors. And uh, guys, that part right there where you're giving your friend access, some people have trouble. It's the timing isn't crazy tight, but you want to make sure you get it good. So make sure right when that door pops open, you pop out. All right. And your friend should slide over as long as they're holding wire triangle. So right now, my friend's positioning the car right here, and we're going to go ahead and get wedged. They're going to teleport out. I teleport out and back in. Now I should be in the driver's seat. And this one has a regular plate on it, but that's okay because that's going to change. We always get a fresh plate with this glitch. So I'm going to teleport back out, go to the yellow circle, and do the same thing as before. Hover over exit facility, A and Y at the same time, or X and triangle on PlayStation. And you should go ahead and spawn outside of the facility with this animation. And if you spawn outside with your vehicle, you're good to go. And the plate actually changed right there uh, in front of our eyes. So boom, brand new fresh plate. This is a clean duplicate. You can sell this, but not right away. Make sure you save the vehicle first. All right, so go ahead and press right D-pad to go into the MOC and you can actually save the car and the car is fully saved. So as you can see right there, it's a real benefit to actually have your vehicle or sorry, your MOC parked right next to the facility. So right now I'm actually going to show you uh, what I meant with because some people might not understand what ha what does it matter if your friend has cars in their facility or not you know this is a facility merge so let me show you what's happened now I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside of my own facility remember it is still merged so it's still glitched out everything is actually frozen in there okay so the RH8 and the faggot that I actually called out there are still inside the facility and you're gonna see right now 
So everything is frozen in there unless you actually pull something out, you know, by hand or with that glitch. So as you can see, I have no more retros in here. I had two in there and that's it, they're gone. So if you want to duplicate seven retros, you need seven retros in your facility or else you have to do the merge glitch over again every time. So if you only wanna do the merge glitch once, you can get seven dupes every time you do that merge glitch. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and hit exit or all exit facility so that we can actually unglitch the facility. Now we're good to go, I can go ahead and hop back in. And when I go in here, I'm gonna show you that everything actually does come back just like that. So if you actually wanted to rinse and repeat and you only had one retro, you'd have to do the merge again. But before that, everybody has to leave the facility and then you can go ahead and get back in. And now look at the difference with the cars. My two original retros that I duped right here. And then I even have a retro right there. So that's one of the dupes I made in this video where the Fagio was. And if you're wondering where the other dupe is, it's still inside the MOC saved. Okay, so that's how you get that done. All right, guys. So that is this glitch. Very, very simple to do. Easy, straightforward. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.